What's up guys, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 guide video. Today's video is going to be a very, very highly requested one, which is Sadist versus NSYNC. Now, before we get into the details of this comparison, uh, remember that we're not going to say which one is better. I personally do not believe one or the other is better. I use one for certain builds. I use the other for other builds. They are both situational talents. So just keep that in mind. And also, you know, the readings that I'm going to give you guys are from my specific build. There are other ways that damage can be amplified through incremental increases or just multiplic multiplications from certain chess piece talents. Like, for example, if you have an um, adrenaline rush and intimidate, it could give you different uh, value. So this is by no means going to, you know, I'm not going to just tell you that one talent is better than the other, because obviously with Sadist, you need to utilize Ridgeways or at least Trauma on the chest or the Bleed Hive. Same with sync. you need to pull out your shield, you need to use a skill or maybe just have a drone shooting bullets at enemies for you to actually be able to proc it. Both talents as well, first shot does not count towards the damage. That's something I did, uh, you know, take note of in my testing i also did not use the uh, special firewall shield that increases damage there are so many things i can mess up the readings uh, so this is just going to be a comparison between the two talents sadist and in sync and i will showcase two tables for pve and pvp taking into account uh, headshot multipliers you know base head base damage and crits for um, pve and pvp body shots and headshots because it is different between the two so the differences in PvE will obviously be downscaled for PvP due to the mitigations in the Dark Zone or anything like that. I did not test in Conflict because it should be similar, but you guys can do that if you really want to. It's very difficult to do that, obviously. So we, you know, well, I kind of thought to myself, well, I wanted to do something quite simple. So I've gone for this build right here. It's my Ridgeways meta build. If you guys want to see this build, it's in my, on my channel. Just take a look. Link will be in the description. So the reason why I use this is because we've got the Ridgeways and we have just a straight up Wicked Talent, which is incremental damage. Now, uh, you do get the same uh, you know, outcome if you utilize something like Intimidate, but obviously, dependent on how you stack each individual piece, it just depends on what combinations you use. You might receive different numbers, but the main thing that I found is that Sadist does do more damage. Now, this is the build that we're going to showcase, or I'm going to showcase the, the tests with. Uh, the reason being is because we don't have something like Adrenaline Rush and Intimidate, which might not proc all the time. Uh, you know, we're not going to utilize the shield because if you pull out this shield right here, it actually does increase your damage. But there's a certain bug, especially in the firing range, where even if you're right up close to the target, it sometimes doesn't count the damage. So we definitely don't want to do that. Also, the gun that I used has the same mods on it. Uh, the same crit damage, the same headshot damage, everything. Nothing was changed. The only thing I changed was the talent. So we rolled Sadist for InSync, vice versa. That is the only thing I did to this build. So we should get the best readings possible. There's no changing attributes because damage starts out of cover and armor damage are completely different. They will give you wrong readings. So I tried my best to keep it you know, as simple and to the point as possible. So as you can see, we have got 60 crit, 145.5 crit damage, and 80. Before every test, I do showcase, so we will go through the gameplay now in a second. So this is quite a simple build. I think it's the best way to utilize this. So let's go into the testing, and let's see exactly what we can find. So very simple tests, guys. We're going to do in the firing range and then go to the dark zone. The first up is going to be Sadist. Remember, the first shot is going to proc the bleed. That's why I need to initialize the bleed and the wicked backpack for the next shot to actually dish out the damage. You'll probably notice that it scales. Same crit damage, same headshot damage, every single test. It's just changing the talent. So as you can see, I'm making sure to have everything propped and then we're hitting headshots. The base red values are headshot damage without crits. Then the orange values are the crits. Just remember that, guys. There is obviously a bleed tick as well. Just forget about that. We will go through all of these damage numbers and compare them in tables at the end. So this is just to show you proof of how I tested. Body shots and headshots, you guys can see the differences. Then I went on and changed, just rolled it straight away to in sync. And then I made sure uh, to not utilize any kind of uh, skill that might amplify my damage like a normal pulse. So all I did was disrupt because that would also proc the backpack talent wicked, which is incremental damage. So the first thing, procced it, in sync is now fully open and we have got the damage. As you can see, the, the base uh, damage and the crits are much higher from Sadist. So burst damage up close, Sadist will win in a fight, but obviously it's completely situational and there's a range to it as well. 
So the headshots, same with those. Remember the red values are the base uh, headshot damage. In the dark zone, same thing. You guys can see the crit, no build, uh, no change in build, just literally the talents. I've tried the first one, ran to the safe house or, or to the uh, base operations, came back, did the same thing with headshots and body shots in the occupied DZ. So I'm gonna let the gameplay roll over and we will discuss what we have found uh, in a couple of seconds uh, in the tables that I've made. Don't be shy, you guys can take them away. We're gonna read through them, go through them. If you wanna share them with your friends, go for it. You have left the group. Right, so here are the two tables. The first one we're going to go over is the PVE one. I mean, it's not really a table, let's be honest. I kind of just threw numbers together. So hopefully you guys do appreciate this. I wanted to make sure I did it properly for you. Just remember that this is all situational. It does not mean Sadus is better than InSync by no means. There are other ways in which InSync can rival it. I mean, I use InSync most of the time. But I was just wondering why those guys... Like with the Ridgeways meta build that I posted. Why that does so much damage. And this is the reason. So we've got huge differences guys right here. This is going to be in PvE though. So we'll move on to the PvP one right after this. So the crit. Uh, basically it's headshots and then body shots. We've gone for crit. Maxed out the orange value. Which is you know you scale your crit chance. You want to crit as much as possible. That scales with the 145.5% crit damage or whatever it was. That gives us the highest amount of damage we could get off of a build like this. Uh, the baseline is just non-crit, uh, just, just just simple damage. Like, for example, if it's blue, it's armor damage. If it's white, it's health damage. If it's red, it's base headshot damage. That's what we were seeing. So crit, max crit, and the base non-crit. Then the body shots, same there. Uh, crit and base non-crit. If we go over to sync, it's the same head and body shots. As you guys can see, the max crit on the headshots, 18,963 damage per bullet, which is huge. That is a massive difference. If you ask me, that is a big difference. Imagine 1200 RPM SMG with a uh, 60 round magazine. You can understand how much damage difference that is. So it is a big difference. And I'll be honest, base, if you wanted to make a base build that doesn't rely on crit, for example, an AR LMG build, it won't be as bad and you probably won't feel it as much, but it's almost like it's just under half the damage down. So if you're going for a full crit build, you definitely want to try and have a look at Sadus, especially if you want to get up close and personal with Intimidate or uh, the... Ridgeway's chest piece, I would definitely go for Sadist. Uh, but look at sync, you know, with the body shots, uh, we've got crit, it's only 14,302. So if you want to, if you are maybe on console and you want a PVE, I wouldn't even worry. You'd probably rather be at range, pull out your shield, utilize in sync. So this could actually help a lot of people decide, you know, especially from range, because if you want to get up close, which you would need to to proc bleed, unless you use trauma or you throw your bleed hive quite far, it's completely up to you. But yeah, that is the PVE table. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the uh, PvP table. And this one is quite interesting as well. Now remember that the values are downscaled. So it is actually a bit more than what it may seem comparing it to PvE. Same table, same setup, exactly the same. Except this is now PvP from the Dark Zone testing that I did. Uh, Jesse had 1.5 million armor, which is quite surprising. We were doing dishing out quite a bit of damage, even though that SMG was nowhere near the best. MP5 actually hits quite hard. So we've got Sadus and InSync. So Sadus, we were critting for 160, 743, and critting in the head 155580. 155580, which is 5,163 a bullet damage difference, which is significant. In PvP, that is quite significant, but it isn't mind-boggling. So I would say in PvP, if you're rocking in sync, go for it. But the problem is, is if you have the same build as someone else, and for example, you know, they have sadist and you got in sync unfortunately and you hit the same shots you're gonna die but here's the thing unbreakable is very good in this game in pvp currently so you can argue like in sync shield with unbreakable will probably always beat a ridgeway it's just dependent on you know the amount of armor value versus the amount of damage the person dishing out does it's very situational same with the body we've got three eight nine three difference on the crit and the base one five eight six so non crits the difference is very minimal i wouldn't even worry about that but there is a bit of a difference so hopefully this gives you an idea of 
how you're going to change your build up if you are going to just keep going and utilizing it the way you want so hopefully this video did give you guys a bit of hints i wanted to definitely put this out like i said you guys got over 400 likes in the previous build video which i requested so i thank you very much for that uh, if you guys want any more uh, guide videos maybe i should just do this maybe if we can get over uh how about 500 likes over 500 likes i will compare uh two of the best assault rifles in the game uh i'm not going to actually name them you guys guess or maybe put a poll up in the chat and we'll see what you want to see me compare so make sure to leave a like subscribe click that notification bell and i'll be seeing everyone in the next video peace out guys